Law of the Bedroom, number 13. Become more confident, attractive, and relaxed around women. Stop needing them so much. You know, this doesn't mean stop desiring women. No. On the contrary. The less you constantly need them or thirst for them, the less you'll feel so needy, or should I say desperate, to be with them. Think about it. If you're desperate, needy, thirsty, and you know it, and you show it, probably going to become a small pain to the woman you're with, let alone any other woman you encounter throughout your life and interactions with them. How do you think that makes you look? Exactly. Do you think a woman wants to go out with a needy, desperate, clingy man? Absolutely not. Play a little hard to get once in a while. Make yourself seem unattainable every now and then. It's fun. And she'll go crazy trying to get close to you. And the reverse is the same. You know, ladies, guys don't want a clingy, needy lady. You know, play a little hard to get. It's a cat and mouse game, and it's kind of fun. Now, whether you're single or with a woman, raise your expectations and qualities in the woman you're looking for. You have a lot to offer her now that you're learning how to really please her. You want the best for her too. Help your gal raise her expectations and qualities for life and living it more passionately with you. If you're married or you're dating, it doesn't matter. In fact, I'm thinking of a gal right now who I was talking to the other day. And I told her, I said, you know, you've been reading this book. You've been reading Laws of the Bedroom. You've been reading uh, Fantasy Boyfriend, my other book. What is your outlook now on life, living it, expectations? Have you raised your own bar on yourself? You know, not just the quality of guy you might want to come into your life, but the kind of quality life that you want to lead for yourself. She said, oh yeah, I'm definitely getting a push in the right direction. You've definitely motivated me. I'm definitely on it. Like, all right, great. Cool. (laughs) Here's a good one. Humble yourself. (laughs) Yes. Uh, Self, take note. Okay, humble myself. Show a strong yet sensitive, cute yet vulnerable side to yourself. Oh, (laughs) you know, the real you. Not some actor or some superstar, rock star. Just you. Be you. Show all of you. That's whom she wants to fall in love with, the real you. Be you, and the right gal will pick you up in seconds flat. Don't put up false fronts to hide your true self, and just, you know, take that ego, that arrogance, and just throw it away. Be nice, be fun, be cool. Be fun, be nice. Never swear in front of your gal, or any woman for that matter. Never use the F word. Never drop F bombs, and I got to... Say that to myself, too. I mean, we all slip from time to time. It's just a big taboo. Now, if it's all right with her and if used in the right context, I'm sure you can find time and a place for the use for that F word. Uh, You know, like maybe during the heat of hot passion and lovemaking or on the phone or I can't wait to f you tonight. You know, like when you're getting it on and you're just about to get it going and uh, you're both so hot and horny as... You just stare into each other's eyes and you can't wait to get home or you're racing to the bedroom or you're having a conversation. Yeah, you'd like me to fuck you tonight, wouldn't you? Even your lady might sound out, fuck me. All in all, just be cautious in using the word. For some women, it's a turn on when used carefully. For others, it's not. So tread slowly and respect your gal when it comes to using the F word. Hey, that said... Never use money to impress a gal. Yes, it's nice to be secure in your finances and to be able to pay the bill, you know, when you're out to dinner, you know, special outings. But you know what I'm talking about here. Be conservative with your spending. You want to find out if she's attracted to you or your money. So hide money and put you out front. (laughs) And make sure you can just pay a few of the things that allow you guys to have some fun. Because basically, and I'll bring this up right now, Why do men pay for the first date? It isn't to prove that they have money because they could have borrowed that 50 bucks from their friend. It isn't that they're a traditional guy because they may be jobless right now or hiding some kind of alcohol or drug habit. Who knows? Men pay for dates to give women an opportunity 
to spend time with them at no cost. I'm going to let you spend time with me. Come, I'll take you out. We'll go to dinner. We'll go on, go on a little date. Spend time with me. Get to know me. Because she has a lot of offers. A lot of men want to date her, marry her, go to bed with her. She's got a lot of offers. It would be expensive for her to try them all out if she had to pay for each of those dates to find out which guy was best for her. So instead, guys pay for the date. I want you to get to know me. Now, when women take advantage of that day after day, night after night, dinner after dinner, well, that's not right. So that's really what it's all about. And if you want to tell men, well, never mind. <laughs> that's for another book. <laughs> hey, in a positive way, yes, be aggressive, direct, and powerful with your woman. You are cool, calm, and collective always, but be direct and be, be firm. It's good. But, you know, not in a mean way. More like a rock. You know, rocks are like solid. You can't move them. They're hard. But they stay still. Rocks don't jump around and bounce around and, you know, wave their arms and hands and slap and hit. No. A rock is very still. Guys, be cool, calm, and collective. Always. Be who she's looking for. She's looking for a man that's optimistic, confident, calm, knows what he wants in life, both personally and professionally. A man who's not afraid to state his own opinion and respects the opinion of others. A man who's always positive and never negative about all situations in life. A man who knows how to separate his work life from his personal life and is loving her. Hint, don't bring work talk into the bedroom or your conversation with her, especially when making love or relaxing. <laughs> no, 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 no. If she asks, how was your day? Well, that's not your cue to kind of start talking about work per se. You just might say, hey, it was great. Make up something if it really wasn't great. But besides, who cares about work anyway? You're with your gal. That's your new line of work right now. And oh boy, that's a good line of work to be in. I know you can get into that, right? Uh-huh. You know, when you're calm, relaxed, protecting and respecting of her nature, and she feels relaxed and calm too, and she can open up to you in so many ways, it's just the place to be. The man really has 80% control and influence over his environment and hers. Formulate that environment, cultivate that environment, create that environment, make it loving, safe, romantic. Mm, guys, that's your job. And it's a great job because when you do your job well, guess what? She's all over you. Right, ladies? I just heard them all say, yes. <laughs> all right.